Hey, what's up guys? So I just uh, left a rehab of mine and uh, about two blocks away from it, I came across this boarded up house right over here. Let me show you what it looks like. Okay, first step I'm gonna do is get out of the car and take a picture of the house, all right? Okay, so now that I've got a picture of the house, I am gonna set it up inside Deal Machine so that it sends out a postcard. Um, I've got this set up for every 21 days. So a skip trace is basically where you're matching the person on the property record with a cell phone number, right? So it costs about a dollar to do that on a Deal Machine, right? So I'm gonna go and take this right now and I'm gonna run a skip trace. I'm gonna click on skip trace and it's working right now and um, just blocking out that owner's name and the property address and now it says skip trace successful we got six phone numbers and three email addresses so now i've got a phone number three six phone numbers three email addresses and a mailing address right so this individual lives in miami gardens and this property is located in fort pierce and now i'm going to go ahead and just pick up the phone and give us guy a call. All right, it's dialing. Let's see what he says. Well, it doesn't look like we're gonna get an answer on that one, so I'm gonna hang up. I'll give the guy a call back a little later, but the point being is that you're driving along, you see a vacant property, you stop, you take a picture, set up some postcards to go out, give the guy a call, Will he sell you the house? Maybe he doesn't want to sell the house. Maybe he does. But either way, if you do that repeatedly all the time, and I think this is the thing for new investors that really bears repeating, you have to consistently do this all the time because maybe only one out of every 15 or 20 of these will even be responsive to an offer. But if they are, you're going to have a pretty good lead on your hands. And some of these houses you could flip uh, or fix and, and put on the back on the market and, and sell for 30 or 40 or 50, even $70,000 profit, right? So when you see a vacant house, stop, take a picture, do what I'm doing. Um, I'll pop a link on the screen. It's lexlevenrad.com forward slash deal machine for this app that will show you how to use this and how to skip trace just like this, right? So um, not that difficult to do. Um, the key for this is consistency. And one of the things that I think that you can do as well that a lot of people have been doing with success is you can hire people to do this, right? So you can hire someone and pay them 10 or $12 an hour to go drive up and down your target market neighborhoods. And then when they see a vacant property like this, you can instruct them to simply take a photo of it and to add it to your deal machine app and then to go out and skip trace it and then give you the lead and then you as the investor can pick up the phone and call up and say hey how's it going are you interested in selling your house right so the key there is is that you're replicating your time with someone else's time so a lot of people out there that are willing to work for let's say 10 or 12 dollars an hour and you can hire someone and in one day let's say 10 dollars an hour that's 80 dollars for the day and during that 80 dollars for the day that can generate a lot of leads for you right and those leads are things you can call up and close on so are you going to get a lead every day that you buy a house absolutely not but even if you've got a lead every two or three weeks from that individual you'll be making a lot more money than what you're paying that individual right so the concept is very simple there's vacant boarded up properties all over and you've got to go out there and you've got to find them and get hold of the owner and make an offer to buy the property all right guys so quick tip for you on driving for dollars and using the deal machine app hope you enjoyed that video make sure you hit that subscribe button and i will see you on the next video